I'm Mike with First Aid Exotics back with another video. Today's video is going to be on our 2020 holdbacks, what we decided to hold back this year. Before we get started, I do have one piece of mail to open. So let's go ahead and get that done. A little uh, thank you note from Pretty Little Pythons, uh, thanking me for uh, the support. Here's her sticker. Thank you very much, uh, Pretty Little Pythons. I appreciate it. Now, let's go ahead and check out some snakes. All right, the first one we're going to show on the list of our holdbacks is this... Uh, Unfortunately, she is in shed, but our first one is a female banana inchy. This is one of the females that um, was from my mail maker black pastel banana that surprised me and gave me four bananas in the clutch. Um, so I kept this beautiful little girl right here. I love the way the, of course, it's a little hard to see with her in shed. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. But if you look on her sides, them beautiful oranges, oranges going up into the dorsal stripe, just gorgeous. I mean, even in shed, this girl is beautiful. I hope the camera's picking it up. Look at the nice, beautiful lavenders coming through. As you can see, one thing I do like so far... There's not a lot of black dots coming through like you normally get with the uh, banana jeans. Um, there is a few, but again, not, not a lot. So I kind of hope it stays that way. But again, a beautiful female banana inchy. Hold back number one. Now this is the second one. The second holdback, unfortunately, of course, she's in shed as well. So I don't know how well her colors are going to be coming through the camera. But again, this is from the same clutch. This is another female banana. This is a female black pastel. Pinstripe. Inchy. Banana. Just gorgeous. Look at them colors. Look at the lavender colors coming down the dorsal. The nice bright orange dorsal stripe going down from the pen stripe. Now this one does have a few more black dots. As you can see, not a lot, but a few. Now this was the snake that I was originally trying to make when I did the pairing. Because just look at that. Like how could you not love this snake? Black pastel. Banana. Inchy. Pinstripe. Just gorgeous. I really wish she wasn't in shed. So you could see how bright and beautiful she is. With her oranges and these purple lavender colors. But look at her tail patterns. Just gorgeous. Okay, this is hold back number two. Okay, this is number three on the list. A beautiful pastel bamboo female. She is a little on the feisty side, but that's fine because that's just a good eater. Look at these nice dorsal, uh, dorsal striping going down on her. The nice side patterns all blushed out. Nice, beautiful, blushed out head. Look at that little uh, pattern right behind the head. Where it's like a little butterfly right there. And then starts coming into this dark part of the dorsal. Like this girl is beautiful. 
Again, a pastel bamboo female. Okay, number four uh, is a pastel yellow belly slash gravel. Um, this girl, I really didn't need to hold back because I already got a couple of them that uh, I held back from last year um, that I'm going to try to prove out. But this girl just really stood out to me and was really the best one in the clutch along with having this sexy looking little ringer here on both sides. Hopefully the camera can pick it up right there and right there. Just gorgeous. Look at them flamings coming up the sides from the yellow belly or gravel. I don't know if the female that uh, I bred to my male highway has something else in her or what is why this ringer just happened to pop up. Um... I was sold, it was sold to me as a past, uh, super pastel yellow belly. Um, I'm starting to doubt that that's what she is because I didn't hit no ivories or highways. But I'm going to retry the parent again this year and just see if maybe I just got bad odds. But again, number five, pastel yellow belly slash gravel, female. Okay, uh, I got confused on my numbers. This is actually number five on the list. This is a female fire. 50% het for ghost. 50% het for clown. Um, the dame was a vanilla cream. 100% het ghost. The dad was a pastel inchy. 100% het for clown. Uh, I did the pairing. Uh, obviously for some holdbacks, this was the only egg that survived. So, of course, this was going to be a keeper. It is a female. So, I'm kind of hoping since this is the only uh, one that made it in the clutch, she'll prove out to be het for ghost and clown. But if you look at her real good, she's got some really nice, beautiful blushings. She is a little on the feisty side as well. Come here. But look at them nice, beautiful colors. Nice blushing. Look at the nice blushing on her head right here in the back. She is just gorgeous. She's a little flighty too as well. But this is definitely a beautiful example of a vanilla. Where are you going? She's a little hard to keep still for the camera. But look at them colors. Just beautiful. Okay, so this was number five. So on to number six. Okay, this is the next one. This is a pastel soul sucker. Possible OD. Which, um, she has shed a couple times. Um, it is a little hard to tell if she does have the OD. Of course, when the pastel is involved with Orange Dream, it does make it a little hard to tell. Um, unfortunately, this one's in shed as well. But just look at her patterns going down the, her sides. How they're all nice and blushed out. Look at her head. Her head stamp, it looks like a funny looking heart. Don't know if the camera's picking that up. But her colors are just gorgeous. This is also the female that was in the clutch that uh, I did the video on um, about the dark side of breeding. Her clutch mates had the shark jaw. She was the only one that had a completely perfect jaw. But they're all eating pretty good. She is eating like a beast. As you can tell. Because she is definitely a little thick as you can see. But look at them beautiful patterns. Beautiful colors. 
nice solid dorsal stripe going down her back. Nice, beautiful, like a rusty, rustic orange right here on her patterns. Just gorgeous. Okay. On to the next one. Number seven. Okay, number seven on the list is a pastel leopard clown. Pos het lavender female. Just look at her side patterns. All nice and beautiful. I'm hoping that all this extra blushing right here on the side and on her dorsal is coming in from uh, the Het Lavender. Because normally uh, a regular pastel leopard clown don't really have that kind of uh, crazy blushing. So I'm hoping that that's coming in from the Het Lav. Look at this beautiful yellow uh, head. Just gorgeous. Nice, solid, as you can see, a nice, solid dorsal stripe going all the way down. Other than like a little bit of a break right here. But that's where the blush, that real crazy blushing is coming in. Look at the nice side patterns from the leopard. Nice, beautiful, golden colors. But again, nice, beautiful, golden uh, colors up, fading into the nice belly. I mean, this girl is just gorgeous. This is number seven on the list. Let's go ahead and check out number eight. Okay, number eight on the list is a lot of people's favorite. The snake that I've been trying for three years to hit. The GHI Mojave Ghost Female. Just look at that nice, beautiful yellow dorsal coming down and she's going to use the bathroom you know every video I make the snake uses the bathroom I can definitely count on a snake using the bathroom when I'm making a video but you know what we just cleaned their tubs today so at least it, now I ain't got to worry about her dirtying up her tub but anyway back to her look at the nice Beautiful blushed and ghost color sides. Like you can barely make out any of the GHI or Mojave patterns going down her sides. As you can see, a nice, beautiful white belly. This is just all around. One of the reasons, this snake right here is one of the main reasons why I started uh, working with the ghost gene. I actually work with the orange ghost line. And this thing is just gorgeous. I've seen a lot of GHI Mojave ghosts that, you know, you can still see the pattern coming through. Just not a very good example. And when I was trying to produce her, this is exactly what. I was hoping it would look like. So I am 100% satisfied with this, this girl right here. She is gorgeous. Okay. On to the next one. Okay, now. This is the last snake. And I made this snake the last one for a reason. Um, the parents of this snake was a super pastel female. To a bamboo. He is part of the bamboo clutch. As you can see, this does not look like a normal pastel. The colors really ain't even a pastel color. But look at them blushings. Of course, he likes to move. But look at them blushings. 
going down the tail and the way them patterns are it's not your normal pastel looking colors or your pastel patterns especially with them kind of blushings I mean the blushings are coming from all the way from the belly all the way up to the dorsal and really whacking out the tail pattern so I really don't know exactly what is going on here um, this is definitely something that could possibly be a new gene that just popped out of my collection. Um, that's what I'm hoping it's going to be. I won't know for sure until I start breeding them. And luckily it is a male, so I can start breeding hopefully next year to really start working this out to figure out what is going on. Because, again, if you look at this side of the tail, just look at them that blushing and then patterns. It's definitely not a normal looking pastel pattern or blushing. The head does give you a little bit of a pastel blush look. But the pastel line that I work with really blushes out the head really good where you really can tell that it's where you can really tell that it's a pastel. Where this one's you can barely tell that there's pastel in this. And it still has a really dark head. But really nice dark blacks. And the blushing is just so crazy. And the patterns are just not normal for a regular normal pastel. So this is why I made this one the last one to show. Because I'm hoping... That we might have just came across a new gene in the collection. Or even if it's not something new. Even if it's something already out on the market. You know, it would be something that I don't have in the collection already. So either way, it would be adding something new to the collection. But I'm kind of hoping maybe it's a new gene in general. But the very last one, number nine of our holdbacks. A pastel something is what I'm going to leave it at. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what did you all think about this video? Comment down below and let me know which uh, one of them were uh, your favorite snakes. The uh, one that you liked the most. Um, and I'll let you know which one uh, I liked the most. Uh, don't forget about our 500 subscriber giveaway. We are getting closer, but we're still really far away. So I think I'm uh, going to try to think of a way to sweeten the pot to get uh, you all out there to start subscribing and uh, getting you all to share. The more I think what I want to do is with this uh, giveaway is if the, the more uh, you share my videos to your friends and stuff like that to get people to um, subscribe to us, take screenshots of all the people that you uh share it to and comment down below with the picture uh, of how many people you've done it to and that's how many entries I'm going to give you in to win uh, the free snake. Um, I just feel that, you know, we should have been a little higher than what we are. So, you know, if I have to, I'll go ahead and throw a second snake in. I don't know. You know, I'm just feeling generous. I want to give back to this community, you know, the community that I love so much. But uh, I do want to say that uh, our Hopefully here within the next couple weeks, we are going to be doing that video on the whole collection. Uh, we're going to start with the females and then we're going to go to the males and then, you know, so forth and so on to show the collection. So hopefully, hopefully if everything goes right within the next three weeks, we'll uh, get that video done and up for you all. So uh, comment down below. Let me know what you all thought. Don't forget to let me know what your favorite snake was and I'll see you all next time.